Hello. We're back. Mike's finished his water. It's I have. all gone. It's all gone. You need to see a toilet soon, I reckon. Yeah, I do need the toilet. Yeah. Actually. We'll have to I get through this do. quickly, won't we? I'm not going to go. Uh, Cross, he's crossed his legs. He's you're welcome, yeah. I'm you, can't, you can't tie a knot in it. So no, I can't. It's not, he's not, not long enough. So. Um, um, you've probably seen that. If you look back over the last four weeks, if, if we put them out in order, yeah, you'll be able to tell what order we filmed them in, actually, <laughs> by the way that the, the water's gone down. <laughs> Um, yeah. This is the last one, there you obviously, go. the day. The last one of the day. Um, but yeah. So, uh, you know, this is a podcast. No, it's not. It's, it's a not. YouTube video. It's a YouTube I video. am tired. It was Anthony Joshua versus uh, Usyk last night. Well, it wasn't, was it? It was Usyk beating up Anthony Joshua. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there wasn't um, really much versus going on. Poor display afterwards from Joshua. You know, showed his, he showed his true colours. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I was up till half three. And, oh, right. and and up, up at eight, so you know. On a Sunday morning to film videos for you. We'll be having a nap uh, after, no doubt. But uh, yeah, so it's not a podcast; it's a YouTube video. It's a YouTube video. But anyway, we hope everybody's watching it. Loads of people and that, and uh, share it, share it, share it. it. Loads of people watching it. I heard. So keep Go sharing then. it. We're down the mic. That's your bit. We are down the mic. There from Bicycles and Banner. Um, we uh, we're just going to help you basically. In any way we can, because we do just chat shit and ramble most of the time. But hey, people seem to enjoy it. They if, seem to be saying, "What more have you got?" If you're an online coach and uh, you know you want some advice, um, you know, look no further. And you want some office-based humour mm. throughout, um, you know, I'd say you're in the right place. You're in the right place. Yeah. So uh, this one is about um, quite a big one. Probably an interesting one. Probably going to go viral. Probably going to get about 300 views on this one. This one so. will be viral, yeah. Yeah, this one's going to go wild. Yeah. Um, so this is why you don't need a sales script. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, so the like... Anti-mentor... Uh, anti-sales sales script. Is what that's it, it, yeah. It was, yeah, anti-sales sales script. Um, I think with this, like a lot of coaches get really um, caught up with sales and they don't like doing sales calls, consultation calls with people. Um, they feel like they have to follow a, like a, a script or an order to things and all this sort of stuff. Now, I'm going to preface this with by saying that we don't think sales scripts are important because your content and knowing your niche should do a lot of the legwork for you in terms of when it comes to a sales call. The sales call is the last little bit that you're just basically talking to someone about your pricing, about how you're the right fit for them. Ideally, 80% of the time when you do a sales call, the person who picks up the phone and, and speaks to you should tell you the same things. They should have the same problems, the same issues that all your clients currently have. If you've done your niche correctly, if you've done your content correctly, um, and if you've kind of framed it that way, whereby you work with the right type of people. Sell me this bottle. Sell me that bottle. Yeah. Um, uh, you, when you need a pee, you know, if you really need a pee and you're not allowed to leave this room, you can pee in that. Not what I was going for. <laughs> I was going, I would go sick and tired of buying expensive bottles of water. Refill this one. Refill this one. Yeah, I think you're going to need that to pee in some point soon. Yeah, probably. Um, won't be able to get in the end though. Urgency is the uh, the key thing. Look at that. Too narrow. So. Yeah. Is it? Definitely. Yeah. Is it though? 100%. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's one of those, they think it needs to be Wolf of Wall Street, right? They think it needs to be yeah. this whole like, oh my God, I've got to convince them to do this. And there's a couple of reasons maybe for that. Maybe they charge up front and quite a lot up front. So there's, a, again, an element there where that is a bit harder, in my opinion. Obviously, it's going to be, right? A bit more money. It's going to be harder. It makes sense. But um, whether you, even whether you do it up front or not, I don't think it makes a difference to what I've just said in terms of your content, your niche should help with that. And the sales call really is just the last little bit of getting to know you. And a lot of the time on sales calls with people, um, it's kind of like they go, oh, it's a bit weird talking to you. Like, I followed you for so long or I followed you, you know, it's a bit weird. And like, I'm a celebrity, it's fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Calm famous. down. You know. Yeah, so I'm just a human being. Breathe. I'm just yeah. a human. I'm it's just fine. like you, just slightly better. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that people think, again, it needs to be this whole big spiel and it needs to be this very formal thing. It needs to take a certain amount of time and it doesn't. Some sales calls are done in 10 minutes. Some are done in 30. Some are done in 45. Some... Um, you know, they, they take, you know you, they're ready to sign up instantly, pretty much. It's just a formality. Some do take a little bit more of a, of a chat, a bit more, not convincing, but, you know, talking through objections and stuff. So, the most people think about it incorrectly. So, um, Mike, what's the key point in a sales call? What's the key, the key bit? Uh, I mean, the, there's, the, there's a few. So, this is how we go through our sales call slash consultation call. The first bit is to build rapport, um, to just chat. 
like a normal, decent human being that's but not there. Coming from a script, right? Asking them set questions. Yeah, set yeah. questions. Look, if you're trying to follow a script, you're coming across wooden. And I'm everyone telling can you, tell. I'm telling you now you're coming across wooden because yeah. you're not the Wolf of Wall Street. We all might want to be it because it's a good film, it's funny and stuff like that, but... And business rentals will sell it because it's kind of a cool image and stuff like that. It, interesting thing, actually. This is a side note. I'm going to come on to that in a second. And it's got absolutely nothing to do with the video. But uh, story this weekend. Went into a home shop uh, in the mall, Dubai mm. Mall. Uh, no, Mall of the Emirates. Yeah. Went into, um, I'm going to say it, I'm going to give them free pub- publicity. Chattels and more. Um, and the reason why this was just triggered is because I bought a piece of artwork for my wall. Yeah. Um and it's kind of like abstract type dollar bill type thing, right? Right. For, yeah. for my office wall. Yeah. Um, anyway, 600 quid. <laughs> Quite expensive. For a dollar Ex- bill. Yeah, yeah, off, mate. yeah. Yeah. For a dollar bill. Yeah. No. <laughs> M- muggins. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a big one. It's all framed and all of this, whatever. Got another little ornament. And there's a guy, you know how they do here. So so here they let salespeople kind of follow you around a little bit, don't they? Yeah. You know, especially in home shops. Do you want, do you want yeah. anything? Yeah. And anyway, he was like, do you want anything else? And we're like, no, you know, he's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, okay, just just this, you know, just these. And then this lady comes over to us and says, oh, do you do you mind just being on camera for, you know, five minutes for us, just for, you know, and we'll give you, give you, we've got a bit of a prize for you. I'm like, okay, like, whatever. We thought it was going to be some, some like, goodie bag or whatever. So yeah. she, like, got the camera up and there was, like, a woman there with a thing. This happened on Saturday, yesterday, Friday, Friday or Saturday, Friday. And then... She um she came up and was like, Oh, here here's Adrian. He's our CEO of Chattels and more. And uh, he was like, Oh, hi. Um, so it's ten years that we've been and we're celebrating. So we just want to say we're uh, we're gonna buy everything for you today. And we're just like, What? Seriously? And we're like, Yeah, yeah, we covered everything. You can have all that for free. And we're like, You should have got more. <laughs> You're like, Shut, I should have got more. Yeah, we were like that. And Amla was like, Can we not can we get extra? She was like <laughs> We'd, you know like is that it do we just get that and we were, we were talking to them and they'd given away a sofa the day before somebody had gone in and got a sofa thousands of pounds um, and a table and chairs the day before that madness so if you want anything home wise go into Chattels and more and you might and have a chance God, you're the one they how picked. random was that they just picked one of the day that is a tangent so <sighs> rapport building see that's why it's in there is oh it? okay is it um there you go. No, it just reminded me because Wolf Wall Street. But um, but yeah, so build rapport. Like, if you're on there just thinking to sell, to sell, to sell, one, you'll put more pressure on yourself and it will come across more salesy. So no script. Be a normal human. You should be able to be a normal human. If you can't, you're probably not in the best job to to be coaching people. Yeah. If you are not that empathetic, kind of easygoing, chatty, g- chat, chatty get on with people, then you're probably not the right personality type to be a coach anyway. Mm. So chat to them. How's your day? What do you do? Where are you? How's the weather? Fucking, they'll know stuff about you. If you've done your job on social media, like Dan said, they already know bits about you. How's the dog? This, that, the other. Just chat. Have a have a have a laugh. Make a joke. Um, and and that's the thing that relaxes the the, the person that you're talking to. Because remember, you might be a little bit nervous because you're going on for a sell. But they might also be nervous as well because they're talking to somebody who they might have followed for a little bit of time. They don't know necessarily what to expect. So they want to be relaxed as well. They want to be put at ease. And you going in there, and some of the tactics that I've seen are like really dig deep and, and genuinely, one mentorship, I know he's saying, you've not done your sales call right unless they've cried on the call. Horrendous. Um, but, um, but yeah, so just build some rapport. Build some rapport, that's the main thing. And then literally, once we've had a little chat, I say the line, and I think it's important to say this line, um, or something similar, and just say, cool, so look, um, you know, thank you for booking in. Um, And look, I guess the main uh, reason why we're on this call is why are you inquiring about coaching? You know, just give me a bit of an idea of kind of where you are now, you know, uh, and what's kind of going on. Um, and kind of why you're now inquiring about getting started with coaching. And and it's just that little sentence or some derivative of that, of that sentence that they'll then open up because you've just spent 5, 10, 15 minutes building some rapport. You may, again, if you've done your job right, 
Um, you may well have had a few back and forths in DMs already with them, you know, outside of a fitness context. Um, they should then open up to you. And like Dan said, they'll tell you the same things. It, it will be, I'm inconsistent. Uh, you know, I get a couple of weeks under my belt, then I fall off the track. You know, uh, weekends are not great. It'll be the same things. And they'll go, you know, I'm pretty good with my training. Okay, are you? Um, yeah. It'll be the same things, but they'll open up. And they might tell you little specific details, but but listen, like, listen to them. Like, listen. Like, genuinely listen. Listen to very specific examples as well. If they give anything quite specific, yep. I always kind of refer back to them. Um, and remember that once you've listened to that and you've gone over that and you kind of talk through, okay, so where do you want to be? Like, where do you want to get to? Like, I always say to them, like, oh, in six months' time, if we were to work together, what would be the perfect outcome? But right, in six months, what would be, be the perfect outcome? And they usually come back with, oh, that's a good question. Oh, not really thought about it. And then you're getting to think about their future. Oh, well, what would I like? Oh, I'd like to be like 10 kilos down. And I'm like, well, that's easy in six months. 10 kilos down, you know, all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool, yeah. And, and like, you know, how do you, how do you feel? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you know, it'd be good to just feel like fit in my clothes again, all this sort of stuff, right? So you kind of know then what they want. Again, it's all pretty much the same thing based on your own niche, right? Um, and then it's really important to make sure that when you talk about your coaching and how your coaching can help someone get there, that you talk about the benefits of your coaching, not the features. So you don't just say, oh yeah, so basically we have a weekly check-in. Okay, great. Well, what's that weekly check-in do? We have a weekly check-in which holds you accountable to, you know, each week, what goals I'll set so that you're not left, you know, to your own devices and just starting again every Monday um, and, you know, you're sacking it off at the weekend and all that sort of stuff because you don't have a plan. Um, you know, half the time the battle of this is having a plan at weekends and going into it, look, knowing you can eat a bit more food and actually we make plans for those and that's what the check-ins are for is keep you accountable to that so that you, you don't go off track. Straight away, that's different too. Oh yeah, we well, have a check-in each week because, you know, people write their features, don't they, their yeah. coaching. Oh yeah, weekly check-in. Well, great. What's that mean? What's that look like? Because for different people, it looks like different things. So you're going over again the benefits of all your coaching, why the training plan is 12 weeks long, why there's a full assessment before you give it to them, why you need to know how many days a week they want to do, how long they want to do, areas of their body they want to focus on. Talk about the benefits of that. Yeah. Why that's different to what they've tried before. Why that's different to just following a generic plan. Don't list off, like Dan <clears> says, don't list off the features. Don't say uh, you get a training plan. Tell them the benefit of you writing them a training plan over what they're currently doing because yeah. that's that's what they need. That's the the gap that needs bridging, and it's yeah. So I'll write all your training up so that you're not just kind of going in as you are now and just kind of guessing what you're doing. It's all going to be progressive. So I'm going to make sure that we're making progress every single week, and that's uh, due to the, the uh, setup and the design of the training program. It's also going to be bespoke to your gym, so you're not going to be giving any kit that you don't have. I'm going to take a good assessment of what what's available. I'm going to look at areas that you want to work on. I'm going to prioritize those. Again, we're going to make it fit your time schedule, so it's not just you're lumped into you know six days a week or whatever. It's, if it's three, cool, four, five. We'll work out what fits best for you. And also in terms of the time of the session, again, you're not going to need to be in there for an hour and a half, two hours. Again, whatever time you've got available, we'll make it work for you. Yeah. That that That's the thing that you say, not training plan, app. Like Yeah, you talk about why your coaching is making their life easier. Yeah. Not about why your coaching is great. Yeah. Your coaching is great. It is. I'm not saying it's not. But people don't care about the app. No. They don't care about the, spread, the spreadsheet. They don't no. care about any of that. How's it making their life easier, yep. better, and how's it going to get them closer to their result? Absolutely. That's what you talk about. That's all you talk about. Yep. F when it comes to your coaching, you mention it, but then you talk about how it's relevant to something they've said as well at the start when they said they're struggling with certain yep. things. Always refer back to, oh, yeah, you know, you said how you struggle sometimes with finding time for yourself and, you know, at the weekends you find time to prep food and all this sort of stuff. Like, don't worry. You know, yeah. and whatever it is in your coaching relates back to solving that problem. That so, so straight away you go, yeah, so obviously you said that um, like meals out um, and being social was one of the reasons why you would come off track. So I'm going to teach you how to go out, you know, uh, and uh, ha be sociable, drink alcohol, and still stay within your goals. Like again, it's 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 just well, to me it's common sense, but yeah, that's what you should be doing. So you rapport build, you ask the question, so why are you inquiring about coaching? You listen, you power it back to them. The, the, the benefits of your coaching and how it's going to help those specific things that they've asked for. And then you ask the question, does that sound like the sort of thing that you're after? Yes. yes. <laughs> of course it does. I have never, ever, ever, hands down, ever had anyone say no. Because it does sound like it. If you've done the, the, the your job right and you've explained the benefits of what you do, why you do it, how it's going to help them, like you've just said there, how it's going to get them closer to the goal, and it sounds 
achievable, maintainable, whatever, that there's a good level of, of, of support. You know, like when we go into it, I'm like, you know, you get a weekly video from me where I can explain what, you know, what things I'd like to be tweaked and why, uh, what things will keep the same and why. I'll answer any questions. I'll make sure I break down the week ahead, step by step, so you know exactly what you're doing. And then on top of that, you get daily tech support if you need it um, via WhatsApp. So I'm always on hand. It's basically like having a coach in your pocket. Does that sound like the sort of thing that you're after? Yes, yes. Because you can't get better than that. Yeah, and, and this is also why, as well, hopefully you can start seeing now why that there's no real script because it all depends on their answers to the questions mm-hmm. that you're asking them. So this is why I don't understand how people can have a script because, and we've been on a sales call before, right, with a mentor. And I'll yeah. never forget it. I'll never forget it. We're both there on the call. On, I think we're both, were we together in the same room or was it on Zoom and we were on... <sighs> I feel like we were both together. Were we? In the same room for some reason. I feel like we were. No, we weren't. I was in Doncaster. You were in Doncaster. Yeah, we weren't. We were a split screen on Zoom. And I swear to God, this guy, all he could read from was a script because we were telling him things and he kept referring back to that. He kept looking off the screen for a start because on Zoom. Um, kept looking off the screen and was like, so what I'm hearing is, and then he repeats something back and we were like, that's not what we said. Yeah. Like, no, no, that's not, we're fine with you that. You didn't hear that at all. And then we were going a bit deeper and he's like, and he go, oh, okay, 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 okay. So what I understand then is you're struggling with this. And we're like, no, um, no not not really. Like, and he clearly didn't have any other way. And, and obviously he didn't make the sale. We were both came off the call and we're like, well, that's a fucking waste of time. Yeah. Um, because he hadn't listened to anything we said. I think that actually opened our eyes to quite a lot about how to, how to do this sort of stuff. And again, it's not... It's not, you don't need a script. You don't need a list of things. You're not trying to coax things out of people. You're literally asking them the questions and ask open-ended questions and all this sort of stuff. But it's just about being a human being and having a conversation with them like you were over a coffee and go, okay, cool. Well, you know, we'll see how that helps and how that, how my coaching is going to help that specific problem. But as we alluded to there, a lot of the things you're going to talk about with your coaching and what it solves is a directly what they've told you before. So there's no way of knowing what the script is. Yeah. You can't possibly know. You have phases to it, sure, yeah, yeah. that you move from one it, thing to the next. It's like a flow. It's like it should flow down mm-hmm. and it shouldn't be rigid and wooden and you're asking questions out of context and like like, like you've just said, he would, he would talk about things that we'd explicitly said we weren't going to do. Like he was talking about, obviously he was a business mentor, so he was like, you need to have a front end offer otherwise you won't be successful. Yeah. Um, no, no, we're already successful. We just need to know. How yeah, to yeah, yeah. But, but no, but we're already like you know doing the things that you're trying to like. It, it didn't make sense anyway. So, so it's a it's more of a flow. So when you get to that point where it's, does that sound like the sort of thing that you're after? And they say yes. So think about the position that you're now in. It's exactly what they're they're after. Be- by virtue of them consuming your content for months, hopefully on end, if not years, potentially, that they should. Like so, think about what it is. They like you enough now. They're in a position where they want coaching, and it is what they want. So they're now on the call with you, and you're about to frame the price. So you'll get a lot of Wolf of Wall style street, you know, um, style tactics. Um, and we don't like to go down that route. So you're going to get amazing once in a lifetime opportunity is available yeah, now. For, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're going to get that. You're going to get a, fr- a high frame. People will say do a high frame of. Um, three thousand pounds or whatever, and then you can you can break it down, or you're going to say offer a higher package and make the middle one look the best. Again, this is just all wanky, in my opinion. It's just wank. It's you don't need it, like you really, really don't need it. I love the whole yeah, so a thousand pounds up up front, or you can pay three hundred pounds um, for three months. Well, it is monthly then isn't it? So, so just sell that. So stop being a wanker. And I, I, I hate this, this big high frame, like to something that doesn't exist. Like, so the way that we do it, and certainly the way that I know I do it is I frame against what other people are doing because other people are doing it. Mm-hmm. So this is what I would personally do if I were you guys. So I'm not going to charge up front like a lot of other coaches do. So straight away, you're telling them what you're not doing and that other coaches charge up front. So you're elevating yourself above them as a better proposition because you're not going to charge up front. So I'm not going to charge up front like a lot of other coaches do, which I know is sometimes now in excess of a £1,000, which I just think is pretty mental. And also, as well, I always say now, is that, and you don't even know what you're getting. Yeah. You know, you're paying for three, four months up front, but you, don't act, you haven't actually seen the product yet, yeah. which, I always, and I, which I always find a bit weird. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Again, for, and it's fine to chip in. Um that's an Alan Partridge quote. Um, so, so yeah, you, you frame against that. And then you go, um, yeah, and there's no contract. 
Um, Because we don't do contracts, me and Dan. Like, we don't do three months, six months, 12 months. Um, So you're not tied into anything. Uh, And if you don't like it in your first uh, 30 days, you can literally just take your money back. It's kind of love it or leave it type type style. Um, But for full transparency, I've never actually had anybody ask for money back because obviously you come in, it's a great service, win-win. So we're currently priced at... So what I've done there is I've framed to this point, I've framed against a coach charging a higher price. I made myself look better because I'm not charging up front. I've framed against the coaches who are tying people into contracts and I'm, I am I look a better proposition because I'm not tying you into contract. I've then removed the risk of it not working by saying I give you 30 days guarantee of, you know, if it doesn't work type thing, then you can have your money back. So I've removed that risk and now I'm going to go into the actual price. So the way that we would suggest you do it is to break it down weekly. Now, for, for ease of maths, I'll use £200. Now, you might think that weekly that's £50. It's not £50 because there's more than four weeks per month. So instead, you times 200 by 12, 12 to get the yearly, divide by 52. That's the weekly. Mm-hmm. Now, I think it will come out at somewhere around around like 40. Well, yeah, 195 a month is £45 a week. There you go. So exactly. what? So 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 we go that. For, so forty five pounds a week. So then you're going to so pricing wise, uh, yeah, it's uh, forty five pounds a week. We bill it monthly, but we think that that's pretty uh, pretty fair uh, in relation to I guess what the average PT charges these days is roughly about you know thirty forty maybe fifty pounds a session. Sometimes in London, maybe a little bit uh, north of that eighty ninety hundred pounds. So. Uh, we feel that's pretty fair considering for that you get a session in the gym whereas with us obviously we're covering everything that's all your training plan that's all your nutrition done that's your weekly check-ins that's your tech support so we're pretty competitive with the prices would you say that's within your budget yes yes it is because 45 quid is 45 quid is in people's budget because they're spending that on a takeaway like or yeah. two takeaways or whatever or takeaway and some beers fucking round of drinks in it at the moment yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it is in their budget and so how I did that, so you break it down. So a monthly obviously sounds more because it is more, but it's the same amount. So you're just making it sound a bit more palatable. And then you're just comparing it to something else that's within the fitness industry, which they might be weighing up doing. They might be weighing up having a one to one PT. And you're framing it and going, yeah, so we're about the same price as a PT. But you only get a session with a PT, whereas with us, you get everything. So again, you're elevating yourself above that. So all you're doing is framing against other things that are out there in a, you know, in a nice kind of steady flow type thing. You're not making up some fucking woo-woo numbers of, oh yeah, so I've got my platinum package, which is, you know, £3,000, but my gold package is only £200 a month. (laughs) Shut up. Like, sh- like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't it's, have a platinum package. Yeah, you don't have one. Like, yeah, I'll have a platinum one then, please. What's that entail? Uh, uh, you know. Make up on the spot. Yeah. Um, so so that's how we go through it. So you finish with, is that within your budget? And then you just listen. Um, and it will be in their budget. And if it's not in their budget, and you consistently get people where you think it's not in their budget or they think it's not in your in their budget, you then look at your content because what is it that you're putting out where you're not demonstrating the value of your coaching? But for 45 quid a week, if it's 195, you will be within, like you'll be in most people's budget provided you're not mm. trying to market to the, the I guess the, the, I don't want to call them the lowest common denominator, but people who are more down the quick fixy type faddy diet 30 quid a month type thing unless you're marketing that way to those people expect more of those people in Mm. but if you're marketing to pretty much anybody else you know that's a that's a fair price i think as well with that with that demographic you just mentioned there most people there they're looking for the quick fix they spend the quick money whereas most of the people that we would work with have tried that and realized it doesn't work so they kind of know that okay if i spend 20 quid a week that shit doesn't work yeah. So they kind of know then that they've got to spend a bit more for it to kind of work. So um, please show it to your advantage there. But yeah, that's that's kind of it really. And, and like I said, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a flow. It's not really like a script. And, and I think the second it becomes that, it becomes bad. Um, and, and But like even just to, just to be devil's advocate there, I think even if you were to do upfront payments and you were to offer an upfront offer, let's say you decide that that's the best route for you, you would again frame that and you would frame it against other coaches who do the other thing. Yeah. Like just for, for transparency again, because we said there's no right way. There's just way we've done it and we prefer. But 
if I was to do an upfront offer, I would say, oh yeah, so some people what they do is they just charge you monthly and it just seems never ending or whatever you might say, right? But you could try and frame it the other way. So again, all the, all the time on calls and all this stuff with, with your content and with the stuff you're trying to do, you're trying to frame your, your thing. And we're going to do another video another day on like a package on offers and stuff like that. And how your, again, content should frame all that. It's not, you don't need a package. No. You don't need this thing that's like got everything included. Because as we just said, it's not about that. It's about the benefits and what that gives people um, on a daily basis, not like the features of said package. Mm -hmm. It's always framing yourself against other people and why you're the better option for mm -hmm. them. Absolutely. Niche. So yeah, so it starts with first content, messaging with the, the those people. It's then on the phone, it's rapport. Why are we caring about coaching? Listen, parrot back the benefits of what you're offering. Does that sound uh, like the sort of thing that you're after? Pricing with framing, and then is it within your budget? And then that's literally it. That's the flow, isn't it? Flow. That's it. So give it a go. Um, should you know it should be it should be natural like mm -hmm. that's the way that you need to look at it it should be natural like just don't overthink it i, I do think that the scripts because i started with a script when i first had the business coaching i had a script I had it all written out like and i remember doing it and i would read it and then shit it's not going in the direction of the next one so then you would you'd kind of not be listening so you'd be looking for the the next question that kind of made sense yeah <sighs> fucking nightmare yeah so listening is the key thing, isn't it? With that, yeah. it's like people, what's that quote that I think has come out recently is that a lot of people just um, listen. They, they don't listen. They just waiting for their turn to talk. Yeah. And it's like I think that's a lot of time with sales scripts. You get a lot of that. It's like you know you listening. You should listen to what they say, um, and then your next question should relate in some way to that. Yeah. Like we've I've skipped questions before that I was going to ask on a sales call because yeah. it's just mental. There's no point. They've literally told me what they want in six months. So I don't need to ask that question. So mm -hmm. you just naturally go, okay, cool, right? You know. And then mm -hmm. you move on and people would go back and ask that question anyway. And it's like, well, no, you just mm -hmm. covered that. It's mad that, you were, you know, that it's just being a human being. Like, yeah. A lot of it is. A lot of this is. Mm. Same with social media and everything like that. But hey. Anyway, I think that's it. We've uh, we've got members area. Um, the link is the link is below. It's 49 quid a week, so bargain. Oh, it's not 49 quid a week, is it? No, it's, no, it's not. A month. It's because I'm, I'm in the habit of saying yeah, it's yeah, 40, yeah. 45 quid a week. Yeah. It's 49 quid a month. It's probably about £11.50 a week. Something like that. <laughs> Criminal. We should put that price up. We should. Say it like that. Um, but yeah, so that's 49 a month. And that's, you know, access to our one-to-one -one, uh, kind of calls with, with our coaches group. Any, you questions, know, any questions you want? There's a community. Yeah, answer, ask us any questions. We have special guest lecturers in there. We have, uh, you know, community feel where you can, you know, dip in and out of the community. We, we sometimes put in quick tips or resources. Mm. It's pretty good. It's probably the best thing out there, in my opinion. Um, it's definitely, definitely in the in the price range because there is nothing else in that price range. So. There is not. So yeah, we'll see you in there.